sir. Thanks for giving this uh, wonderful opportunity. Okay. Uh, uh, we uh, before we enter into the topic, I will give a just an intro about me. Uh, this is Sharmia. I'm a marketing manager in Airbus Aviation Private Limited, and I'm currently pursuing MBA degree with marketing and HR specialization in a leading business school in Chennai. Now we will move to the our topic. My topic is how to write a, our airline's resume. Uh, before we know to make a resume, we know one thing: uh, what is resume, why it is used for, and uh, who are using resume. First, what is resume? Uh, resume is a nothing. It's a document created by a person which tells about background, skills, and their achieve, achievements. Who use this uh, resume? Means the uh, job seekers using resume followed by an interview. And um, why? Why it is important? Resume resume is a tool, important tool for job which display your skills and uh, qualities. And uh, resume helps the employers make a hiring decision and help you to get a first interview. And uh, types of resume, there are two types of resume. Uh, one is a, a chronological order resume, and uh, in another one is a custom resume. And uh, a chronological order resume. Um, is most resumes order by this uh, uh, this order, and uh, it include work ex experience. If you have uh, more experience, you can choose uh, this uh, this type of resume. And another one is a uh, custom resume. Uh, it's a it give uh, this type of uh, resume give priority relevant education and your experience, and uh, it highlight to your most important and relevant career choices by choosing this format. Maybe uh, it help to stand out, and um, it is uh, it is excellent for people in industry to, industries that requires a specific quali qualification to be met, and. Uh, why do you need a resume? Yeah, of course, a good resume will immediately display the employers why the candidate is good fit. Uh, here are uh, here are the some reasons why we need a resume to get to our next job. Uh, effective resume should contain outlines your relevant skills and experience, displays the benefits you offer employees, and grabs the attention of employees and matches you to the position and can lead to an interview. And can lead to an interview. Yeah, a good resume is going to allow you to move forward to the next step process of interview. Otherwise, you won't select for the. And uh, here's uh, here are some uh, resume tips. Uh, uh, review industry leading examples. Apply fonts that are professional. And include relevant information organized by importance. Consider active language and preferred and make edits. How to choose the right resume format for you? Uh, here, here you can see uh, some tips. Uh, the goals of uh, formatting your resume is to create a professional looking, easy to read document. And if you are formatting a resume before you write it, be sure to pay attention to know how the information looks on the page and adjust as needed. And uh, step by step, we will see step by step some key information, uh, uh, some key information to formatting a resume, apply appropriate margins and uh, select a professional uh, readable font and make uh, font size uh, minimum 10 to 12 points and uh, feature section headers, uh, use bullet points and ask for feedbacks. First, apply appropriate margin. Uh, stand for margin for resume and other professional document like cover letter. Cover letter should contain the resume and uh, the text. If you require more space to describe your relevant skill and experience, then you might reduce your margin to 0.75 inches. And if you decide to adjust your margin, you should keep them at or above 0.5 inches. Uh, and um, Select a professional readable font. There are two categories of font. One is a serif and sana serif. These are the two categories. And uh, several examples here you can see several example resume fonts. Uh, uh, Calibre, uh, mo mostly I used uh, this font size. And uh, Times New Roman. Uh, this format, format is uh, looking professional. And uh, 
make your font size uh, 10 to 12 points. Uh, generally, you should uh, stay between 10 and 12 points. If you have a shorter resume and trying to fill empty space, uh, you can select uh, 12 points font. And uh, if your resume is still more than one page with your with you can use 10 point font size. And a uh, few other ways you can use uh, to make a shorter resume. This is the shortcut uh, you using a appropriate. These are the shortcut and uh, uh, feature section headers, bold, bolding, underlining, and increasing the font size by one or two points for selection headers uh, can help employees quickly find the information. This uh, using bolding and underlining words uh, uh, should be used. Uh, employees uh, quickly find uh, what what the information you have and uh, use a bold font on your uh, section uh, headers and increase the size of your section headers font uh, 12 to 14 or 16 points. And use bullet points where appropriate. Uh, bullet points should be used to list your achievements and uh, avoid using one only one or two bullet points in a single se uh, session. And uh, if you have a less than three pieces of information, simply uh, list them without bullet in a sentence uh, form or use other punctuation to separate different ideas. Key elements. Uh, here you can see key elements of a resume. And uh, a resume tells the employees about your experience, skills, and work history. And uh, key elements is personal information, name, current, and uh, permanent address subject to education, work and uh, related experience, awards and honors, activities, hobbies, skills, uh, reference, and uh, other consideration. You can use uh, these uh, key elements in, in the resume. And uh, conclusion, um, you can in the uh, in the end of the uh, resume uh, you can use positive notes and uh, communicate the importance of your ideas and subject matter uh, through simple words and uh, provide the reader with a sense of closure and uh, rephrase and uh, uh, then uh, restate your thesis statement thank you thank you sir